Ciao, we are in Tuscany, or better to say we are in Chianti. Today we let you discover Barberino Valdezza. of Barberino Valdelsa go back to the times of the ancient Romans but the real development of this village starts only after the 13th century so only after the dismantling of the powerful and near village of Semifonte. In fact a part of this village was built with the stones of Semifonte. I tell you a secret under our feet there is a world. I could say there is another village. This underground world is owned on a side by the Pasolini family, while on the other side is property of the Corsini family, both noble families who made the history of this place. Every village to grow needs sources of water. Here in the main square, there was a big cistern from which the citizens used to get it. The original church was the one dedicated to San Bartolo, but the village was growing and becoming very important, especially thanks to the influence of a family named Barberini. For this reason, it was built a bigger one. Barberino officially inaugurates the church dedicated to San Bartolomeo in neo-Gothic style. As you can see, Barberino is a fortified village and to enter inside there are two gates. The Florentine Gate, this is the name of it, was completely destroyed during World War II. This is the reconstruction of the original one. But what makes Barberino Valdelsa so special? Well, not far away from here, there is the house where the Pope Urban VIII was born. And this gave so much importance to this place. But there was uh, only a little problem. The crest of his family was represented by a pretty ugly insect. That was the horsefly. In Italian, Tafano. So when he arrived in Rome to the Vatican, he was preferred a nicer insect as crest of his family, the bee. 